Morning, everyone. So we'll go ahead and start. Get yourself a nice meditation posture. We'll start with some nine round breathing and then we'll do some prostrations. So settle in and be with the body, be with the posture. Just body awareness, nice and simple. And focus your attention on your breathing. If you need to, you can use the technique of counting the breaths to settle the mind. Bring it to a state of deeper focus and concentration, ready to engage in meditation. So not doing anything with the breath just yet, except watching it, being with it. And then revive your motivation. Create an altruistic motivation for the meditation session. Think that you're meditating not just for your own individual benefit, but you're taking the time now to meditate and develop your mind to become a wiser and kinder person, to be able to benefit all beings. And in particular, refuge in bodhicitta. And with that motivation, begin visualizing the three psychic channels or tubes within your body through which the wind energy moves. The channels are round and hollow, the size of a straw, and very fine, smooth, flexible, and luminous. The central channel is blue. It starts at the midway point between the eyebrows curves up and back along the side of the skull, like the handle of an umbrella, and then down along the inside of the spine to a point four finger widths below the navel. The right channel is red and runs from the right nostril back and then downward along the right side of the central channel to an end point four finger widths below the navel.
The left channel is white and also runs from the left nostril all down along the left side of the spine to also four finger widths below the navel. For this meditation, imagine that the ends of the three channels join together at this point, four finger widths below the navel, and focus for a moment on the visualization. And then breathe in through your right channel and out through the left. You can hold the left nostril closed with the index finger. Inhale slowly and fully through the right nostril. Imagine that you are sending the breath all the way down to the end of the right channel. Imagine that the breath flows from the right into the left channel as you move your index finger to hold the right nostril closed. Now exhale slowly and fully through the left nostril. As the breath leaves the left nostril, imagine that all impurities like distraction and mental dullness are expelled with the breath. Three times at your own speed. And now shift to breathe in through your left channel and out through the right. Reverse the process. Holding the right nostril closed with your index finger, breathe in deeply through the left nostril, sending the breath all the way down to the end of the left channel. As the breath moves into the right channel, move your index finger to hold the left nostril closed. Exhale slowly and fully through the right nostril. As the breath leaves the right nostril, imagine that all impurities are expelled with the breath. Three times at your own speed. And now breathe in through both channels and out through the center. Inhale slowly and deeply through both nostrils, sending the air down through the right and left channels. As you exhale, imagine that the breath is expelled up and out 
through the central channel. As you breathe out, imagine that you're expelling all impurities out through the point between the two eyebrows, even though in actuality air comes back out through your nostrils. Imagine that the three channels become completely clean and luminous. Three rounds at your own speed. And when you finish those rounds, just rest the mind in clarity, breathing naturally and normally. Be with the clarity of the mind. Your focus, just the mind itself. Thoughts coming and going like clouds. Keep your attention in the spacious clarity of the sky-like nature of mind.
and then relax your attention. And get ready for prostrations. And if you're physically not able to do full length prostrations, you can do short ones or at least have the two palms together. Establish the visualization in the space in front. Connect with the presence of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas being present, in particular, the 35 Buddhas of confession. Connect with refuge. Connect with regret. And begin with the multiplying mantras. Om Namo Amenju Shri E Namo Su Shri E Namo Hojama Shri E Soha Om Namo Amenju Shri E Namo Su Shri E Namo Hojama Shri E Soha Om Namo Amenju Shri E Namo Su Shri E Namo Hojama Shri E Soha Hojam Din Jai Di Jin Jai Padra Jampa Yang Dapa Sope Sangye Rin Chin Gya Tsala Cha Tsa Lo Jam Din Jai Di Jin Jai Padra Jampa Yang Dapa Sope Sangye Rin Chin Gya Tsala Cha Tsa Lo Jam Din Jai Di Jin Jai Padra Jampa Yang Dapa Sope Sangye Rin Chin Gya Tsala Cha Tsa Lo Om Namo Bhagavate Ranu Ketu Ratsaya Tathagataya Ahati Samhek Sambudaya Jayata Om Ratne Ratne Maha Ratne Ratnam Dinsaye Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Ranu Ketu Ratsaya Tathagataya Ahati Samhek Sambudaya Jayata Om Ratne Ratne Maha Ratne Ratnam Dinsaye Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Ranu Ketu Ratsaya Tathagataya Ahati Samhek Sambudaya Sambudaya, Dayata, Om Ratne Ratne Ma, Ratne Ratna Vizaye Soha. Homage to the confession of a Bodhisattva's downfalls. I, throughout all times, take refuge in the Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I, throughout all times, take refuge in the Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dharma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I, Throughout all times, take refuge in the Guru, I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dhamma, I take refuge in the Sangha. To the Guru, Teacher, Bhagawan, Tathagata, Arhat, Perfectly Complete Buddha, Glorious Conqueror, Shakyamuni Buddha, I prostrate. To Guru, Teacher, Bhagawan, Tathagata, Arhat, Perfectly Complete Buddha, Glorious Conqueror, Shakyamuni Buddha, I prostrate. To Guru, Teacher, Bhagawan, Tathagata, Arhat, Perfectly Complete Buddha, Glorious Conqueror, Shakyamuni Buddha, I prostrate. To Tathagata thoroughly destroying the Vajra essence, I prostrate. To Tathagata thoroughly destroying the Vajra essence, I prostrate. To Tathagata thoroughly destroying the Vajra essence, I prostrate. To Tathagata radiant jewel, I prostrate. To Tathagata radiant jewel, I prostrate. To Tathagata radiant jewel, I prostrate. To Tathagata King Lord of the Nagas, I prostrate. To Tathagata King Lord of the Nagas, I prostrate. To Tathagata King Lord of the Nagas, I prostrate. To Tathagata Army of Heroes, I prostrate. To Tathagata Army of Heroes, I prostrate. To Tathagata Army of Heroes, I prostrate. To Tathagata Delighted Hero, I prostrate. To Tathagata Delighted Hero, I prostrate. To Tathagata Delighted Hero, I prostrate. To Tathagata Jewel Fire, I prostrate. To Tathagata Jewel Fire, I prostrate. To Tathagata Jewel Fire, I prostrate. To Tathagata Jewel Moonlight, I prostrate. To Tathagata Jewel Moonlight, I prostrate. To Tathagata Jewel Moonlight, I prostrate. To Tathagata meaningful to see, I prostrate. To Tathagata meaningful to see, I prostrate. To Tathagata meaningful to see, I prostrate. To Tathagata jewel moon, I prostrate. To Tathagata jewel moon, I prostrate. To Tathagata jewel moon, I prostrate. 
Tatada got a stainless one I prostrate. Tatada got a stainless one I prostrate. Tatada got a stainless one I prostrate. Tatada got a bestow with courage I prostrate. Tatada got a bestow with courage I prostrate. Tatada got a bestow with courage I prostrate. Tatada got a pure one I prostrate. Tatada got a pure one I prostrate. Tatada got a pure one I prostrate. Tatada got a bestowed with purity I prostrate. Tatada got a bestowed with purity I prostrate. Tatada got a bestowed with purity I prostrate. Tatada got a water god I prostrate. Tatada got a water god I prostrate. Tatada got a water god I prostrate. Tatada got a deity of the water god I prostrate. Tatada got a deity of the water god I prostrate. Tatada got a deity of the water god I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious goodness I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious goodness I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious goodness I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious sandalwood I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious sandalwood I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious sandalwood I prostrate. Tatada got infinite splendor I prostrate. Tatada got infinite splendor I prostrate. Tatada got infinite splendor I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious light I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious light I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious light I prostrate. Tatada got a sorrowless glory I prostrate. Tatada got a sorrowless glory I prostrate. Tatada got a sorrowless glory I prostrate. Tatada got a son of non craving I prostrate. Tatada got a son of non craving I prostrate. Tatada got a son of non craving I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious flower I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious flower I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious flower I prostrate. Tatada got a pure light rays clearly knowing by play I prostrate. Tatada got a pure light rays clearly knowing by play I prostrate. Tatada got a pure light rays clearly knowing by play I prostrate. Tatada got a lotus light rays clearly knowing by play I prostrate. Tatada got a lotus light rays clearly knowing by play I prostrate. Tatada got a lotus light rays clearly knowing by play I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious wealth I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious wealth I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious wealth I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious mindfulness I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious mindfulness I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious mindfulness I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious name widely renowned I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious name widely renowned I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious name widely renowned I prostrate. Tatada got a king holding the victory banner of foremost power I prostrate. Tatada got a king holding the victory banner of foremost power I prostrate. Tatada got a king holding the victory banner of foremost power I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious one totally subduing I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious one totally subduing I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious one totally subduing I prostrate. Tatada got utterly victorious in battle I prostrate. Tatada got utterly victorious in battle I prostrate. Tatada got utterly victorious in battle I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious transcendence through subduing I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious transcendence through subduing I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious transcendence through subduing I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious manifestations illuminating all I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious manifestations illuminating all I prostrate. Tatada got a glorious manifestations illuminating all I prostrate. Tatada got all subduing jewel lotus I prostrate. Tatada got all subduing jewel lotus I prostrate. Tatada got all subduing jewel lotus I prostrate. Tatada got a arhat perfectly complete Buddha, King Lord of the Mountains, firmly seated on a jewel and lotus I prostrate. Tatada got a arhat perfectly complete Buddha, King of the Lord of Mountains, firmly seated on a jewel and lotus I prostrate. Tatada got a arhat perfectly complete Buddha, King of the Lord of Mountains, firmly seated on a jewel and lotus I prostrate. The Seven Medicine Buddhas. To Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, perfectly complete Buddha, renowned glorious king of excellent signs, I prostrate. To Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, perfectly complete Buddha, king of melodious sound, brilliant radiance of skill, adorned with jewels, moon, and lotus, I prostrate. To Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, perfectly completed Buddha, stainless excellent gold, illuminating jewel who accomplishes all conduct, I prostrate. To Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, perfectly complete Buddha, glorious supreme one free from sorrow, I prostrate. To Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, perfectly complete Buddha, melodious ocean of proclaimed dharma, I prostrate. To Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, perfectly complete Buddha, king clearly knowing by the play of supreme wisdom of an ocean of dharma, I prostrate. To Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, perfectly complete Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate. All you 35 Buddhas, 7 medicine Buddhas, and the others, as many Tathagata Arhat, perfectly completed Buddha Bhagawans as there are abiding, living, and residing in all the world systems of the 10 directions, all you Buddha Bhagawans, please pay attention to me. 
In this life and in all the states of rebirth in which I have circled in samsara from beginningless lives, whatever negative actions I have created, made others create or rejoice in the creation of, whatever possessions of stupas, possessions of the sangha, or possessions of the sangha of the ten directions that I have appropriated, made others appropriate or rejoice in the appropriation of, whichever among the five heavy negative karmas without break I have done, caused to be done, or rejoiced in the doing of, whichever the ten non-virtuous paths of action I have engaged in, caused others to engage in, or rejoiced in the engaging of, whatever I have done, being obscured by these karmas, causes me to be born as a sentient being in the hell realm, in the animal realm, or in the preda realm, in an irreligious country, as a barbarian, or as a long-life god, with imperfect faculties, holding wrong views, or not being pleased with the Buddha's descent. In the presence of the Buddha Bhagawans, who are transcendental wisdom, who are eyes, who are witnesses, who are valid, and who see with omniscient consciousness. I admit and confess all these negative actions. I do not conceal them nor hide them, and from now on in the future, I'll abstain, refrain from committing them again. All Buddha Bhagawans, please pay attention to me. In this life and all other states of rebirth in which I have circled in samsara from beginningless lives, whatever roots of virtue I have created by generosity, even as little as giving just one mouthful of food to a being born in the animal realm, whatever roots of virtue I have created by guarding morality, whatever roots of virtue I have created by following pure conduct, whatever roots of virtue I have created by fully ripening sentient beings, whatever roots of virtue I have created by generating bodhicitta, and whatever roots of virtue I have created by my unsurpassed transcendental wisdom, all these assembled and gathered and combined together, I fully dedicate to the unsurpassed, the unexcelled, that higher than the high, that superior to the superior. Thus, I completely dedicate to the highest, perfectly complete enlightenment. Just as the past Buddha Bhagawans have fully dedicated, just as the future Buddha Bhagawans will fully dedicate, and just as the presently abiding Buddha Bhagawans are fully dedicating, like that, I too dedicate fully. I confess all negative actions individually. I rejoice in all merits. I urge and request all Buddhas. May I achieve this supreme, holy, peerless, transcendental wisdom. To the conquerors, the best of humans who are living in the present time, who have lived in the past, and who will likewise come, all those whose qualities are as vast as an infinite ocean, with hands folded, I approach for refuge. The General Confession. Who who la, woe is me. Great Guru, Vajadara, all other Buddhas and Bodhisattvas who abide in the ten directions and all the venerable Sangha, please pay attention to me. I, who am named circling in cyclic existence from beginningless time until the present, overpowered by delusions such as attachment, hatred, and ignorance, by means of my body, speech, and mind, have committed the ten non-virtuous actions, committed the five heavy negative karmas without break, and committed the five nearing heavy negative karmas without break. I have transgressed the vows of individual liberation, transgressed the vows of bodhisattvas, and transgressed the samaya of secret mantra. I have been disrespectful to my parents, disrespectful to my Vajra masters and my abbot, and disrespectful to my spiritual friends living in ordination. I've committed actions harmful to the three rare sublime ones, abandoned the holy dharma, criticized the Arya Sangha, harmed sentient beings, and so on. These and many other non-virtuous negative actions I have done, have caused others to do, have rejoiced in others doing, and so forth. In the presence of the great Guru Vajadara, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas who abide in the ten directions, and the venerable Sangha, I admit this entire collection of faults and transgressions that are obstacles to my own higher rebirth and liberation, and causes of cyclic existence in the lower realms. I do not conceal them, and I accept them as negative. I promise to refrain from doing these actions again in the future. By confessing and acknowledging them, I will attain and abide in happiness, while by not confessing and acknowledging them, true happiness will not come. Through the force of reciting the names of the 35 Confession Buddhas and the Medicine Buddhas, through the power of their pure prayers and vows, through the power of your regret and the other opponent forces, and through the power of your having done these prostrations, nectar and light rays descend from the holy bodies of the Buddhas, all the negative karmas, defilements, and imprints collected on your mental continuum from beginningless time are completely purified. Generate strong faith that your mind has become completely pure. The Buddhas then dissolve into one another. The medicine Buddhas up into the karma family. Into the lotus family. Into the jewel family into the Buddha family, the Vajra family, into Shakyamuni Buddha, into you. And dedicate for complete enlightenment, remembering the emptiness 
of the three spheres, agent, action, object. Okay. So the next session is at 9.30 Pacific, and uh, we'll have a little Dharma talk as well as some meditation. See you then. <laughs>